Fancy intro music, yeah! Woo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channels. Today we're talking about this beautiful baby right here, the USS Franklin A, or as it will be forever known, the USS Trevor. Shout out to Trevor L who purchased this for us because, well, I didn't have a Max Franklin. So for this to happen, you had to thank Trevor. So in the comment section below, everybody write, thank you, Trevor. If you don't, you'll get haunted by dead Easter bunnies because every Easter bunny is a new Easter bunny every single year. I didn't know if you knew that. So all the ghosts of past Easter bunnies will haunt you in the comment section if you do not say thank you, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. I appreciate you, and not just because I don't want to be tormented by a lot of dead bunnies. So the USS Franklin A is an extremely important addition to the game, not just because it's another way to grind swarms, but the USS Trevor is going to help you go places you've never gone before, starting with probably, I think, most people's favorite initial feature, and that's the fact that it has a warp range of 75 out of the gate with an impulse speed of 100. So what you're getting here, and it is a four-star ship, now basically the first four-star ship you get in the game. But it's helping you reach into deep space immediately. Just for reference, you see that that is warp 75. And you see my max enterprise, like top tier, big as it can get, warp 75. So it's starting off where my enterprise ends. And that opens up a lot of areas of space for a lot of people. And if you remember, we talked about getting into those regions of space. You can then relocate there, use horizons to mine, and then hub brackets and everything. So just having the warp range alone makes it an extremely valuable tool. But more importantly, it's how they've used this to introduce new resources into the game and revitalize a lot of the game economy with the new swarm events. Now, here's what the USS Trevor is going to give you. Now, I'm going to throw it up on the screen, but also have it in the background through the resources tab. So you can see that we still have the biominerals and now we have biotech. Now, most of you will have probably caught up on some of what the biotech does, but if not, the helpful screen created by uh, Stephen Aarons will get you up and ready for, will probably get you excited for going and leveling up. As you can see, we're talking about billions in additional steel for in the 40s and even hundreds of millions of more resources for those in the 30s. Once you access this, this is truly going to speed up your progress a great deal. So talking about rebalancing the game, you know, uh, you, you look at the difference between you know, just on screen, look at the par steel version of biominerals, which is 7 million. And then look at what I'm getting for biotech, same level, I'm getting over 100 million. So you're talking about a several times factor, well, a factor of what, like 13 of an improvement. That is incredible. And that is the type of thing that the game has needed a long time. You talk about what can help rating be better. And I was saying this to server 36 last night and I was on one of their alliances discords. You know, this by itself, give it a month or two, people are going to not have as much uncommon to throw into researches and, you know, base building. So once they start running up some of that uncommon, if they're not already out, all these resources are going to start building up. And even if it's long distance rating, this alone is going to make rating more viable and more fun, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Don't prove me wrong out there. Servers, so let's talk about the ship itself by itself and you know what it can do firing patterns let's start with that because i feel like that's an important key change here with this verse the franklin so the uss trevor has got a firing pattern of two 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 then two 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 then two and you can see it on the screen we've got a side by side right here so with the original franklin you fired three times every single round consistently but it was an energy weapon every time now with the new ship you get two kinetic weapons and an energy weapon with the energy weapon firing twice every round and then the kinetics firing twice uh, both of them firing twice every other round so a little bit different in terms of how it plays out but this can in fact be very very useful for you especially when it comes to putting out overall damage as we know those kinetic weapons have a way of putting out a little bit extra oomph that you're not used to getting you see on mine i'm still obviously a very base level i don't have any of the you know uh, parts to exchange it we'll talk about that in a second but you can see just in general a much stronger weapon those kinetics typically are and generally can put out more dps and dpr so let's hop out real quick and, and go back into our refinery because we were just talking about the biotech and everything so you've got those options and then you're going to get the frequency modulator conversion once you get to this point so if you are one of those players who has had a Max Franklin for quite some time, one thing that they did, and I think a lot of people were surprised that they were so kind, but 
you have a transfer rate now where we had people who had millions of frequency modulators just doing nothing. And now there's a way to turn those in for the new modulators for the Mark IIs. Now, you are going to probably be able to grind about one a day in terms of parts if you start grinding today and work your way up. It is going to be a little bit of a process and it is a grind and I'm not saying it's not. That is one thing with the new ship here with the USS Trevor that it is a grind just like the original Franklin was. But at the same time, you're getting a much bigger reward and even more so of a reward than when the Franklin originally came out and Biominerals came out. This is more of an impact now than that was when it first got introduced to the game well over a year and a half ago. So you do have this exchange now that you can use. As you saw, I've got about 400,000, but I'll probably just keep my OG Franklin and max it out because I'm weird. I don't, I don't there's no reason for me to do it. I just, I kind of want to do it. But anyway, we're going to take this out into a level 35 space. All right, everybody, real quick notes I want to make. So we did change, you saw me heading out to the systems. Decide instead to go to the 39 systems, which does require me to get to the warp one upgrade so what i do is upgrade the warp core to do that that's the only thing i've now upgraded so now i've got warp 80 instead of warp 75 to reach the 39s to complete that daily now i also want to show you this research that was done by dj gurr i'll throw that on the screen i referenced it earlier in the video but now you can actually see his results as well as the officers and stuff that he used and how he was able to grind probes because remember the 35s from the new sets that drop you can only kill limited amounts of those uh, and those 35s don't actually pay out any of these so did the test to see how many kills you could get against i believe 37s where you could actually start grinding for the modulators and then showed what those results were in terms of kills mixed with how you could get the most probes and then you see five of ten being the best way to get the most probes which it's obvious you know it's op it's a great run but that is the way and now you know also uh, curious if anybody here is OPC and it uh, doesn't look like it. Probably not a good idea for me to start robbing that soon, but there's some good math there. And I will remind you that with the new bonus of the, you know, the USS Trevor here is that if you take a look at the bottom abilities here or the new swarm upgrades, you get bonuses now every time you defeat something with the new ship. So now you get a times three bonus. So once I beat one, I'm actually defeating three. So it's easy to start reaching these goals, even if the repair cost is gonna be much higher than you're used to, which you'll see that here in just a second, because I can probably only kill three 39s before my ship is going to go kabooey. And then you're gonna have a, a semi-hefty bill in redoing that. Is it insurmountable? I wouldn't say that it is. I think it's actually pretty decent in terms of uh cost but keep in mind that i've also got an iss so i'm used to these being a little pricey but let me go ahead and hit this 39 just to hit that and then i will complete that daily for the day and early on you're going to you know take a while before you're easily getting those remember your research does work for the franklin a when it comes to the piercing upgrades and the attack the frequency modulator efficiency upgrades do not work however so if you're wondering what research is working the tree basically the attack based ones for increasing your piercing the damage that you do against swarms do work on the new ship and the uss trevor but does not work on uh when it comes to the mark one efficiencies those will need their own researches so let's go ahead and wipe this out so I can show you the repair cost of this ship after it gets completely destroyed. So I did get three, which will result in being nine of the total I need. And you see a 570K repair bill with around 11 or 12K dilithium and then eight hours. So it's going to cost me, what, a million and a half, close to two million after I do all of my runs to finish out the 39s. And then I'll make basically still in profit range from that once I do a resource turn in with the Biotix tr uh, Tritanium. So on the Biotic Tritanium, I'm going to bring home, as you can see here, 16 million. So I'm still going to make a massive profit doing that, even though it's going to take a little bit of time as I work on leveling the ship up and making it better to fight these. So no matter what, whether you're using this to grind and get a lot of these resources now or if you're able to only hit like the 37s either way you're talking about a big increase in terms of your game playability because now you can actually afford to do stuff and you know i'm i need a lot you see i've got 1.6 billion steel but that won't 
even upgrade my ops level. I can't go to 40 if I wanted to right now without spending tokens. So this ship is going to help me get a lot of the resources I need to get bigger, better, stronger, faster on all those fun things. Hopefully everything in this video helps you, even though it's a basic cover. I want to give a shout out to Trevor once again, give a shout out to DJ Gurr and give a shout out to uh, Ultimate DJ's podcast. Yes, you got a little bit of a grind, but it's worth it. Whereas honestly, the Franklin, sure, you get it back in the day, worth it. Even now, if you're a newer player, worth it. But man, this really is changing the game. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you have not already. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys and we'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. Remember, Spock doesn't go on the Enterprise. Live long and prosper. All the best. An even better outro than the intro for the Empire and glory to your house.